that she sent me in the mail. It's called uh, 14 Poems. Uh, some of them are about her visit to Kathmandu. Uh, the first time uh, she visited her daughter over at her assignment in, in Nepal. Um, I have to admit that uh, the reality of Marion's death has uh, sort of eluded me. Uh, yeah. I, I wrote her a happy birthday, and uh, received an email back from her daughter, and uh, then I didn't hear anything else. And finally, I heard from Phoebe and Scott, who called one of the boys, and they said, "Oh, Marion died last Monday," and it was like a, a, a hammer. Uh, so this kind of helps me. Um, feel more real about it myself. It, it was real. It's left an empty spot. I, I lost a friend. I lost an editor. And I lost a cheerleader. And she was just excellent at all of those things. Um, here's a poem she wrote about that immortal, deadly animal. <laughs> Voodoo unfortunately died just several weeks or maybe a month prior to marrying. She lived a long and bloody life. I think uh, she was 20, 22, 23. She lived on blood like a bear. She was one of the oldest cats I know. Also very tiny, like Marion. Very small and tight, but uh, like a hunk of dynamite. Just, she was explosive. Uh, pardon me, I'm going to blow my nose before it gets away from me, and it may be too late already. But this is one of the few times that Marion actually opened up about her family. I consider that cat probably her closest friend and companion for over 20 years. I don't know who else could have put up with her. I mean the cat. In a world of our own, of course I'm not lonely, I say. The cat claims I live with her. She mentions uh, possible dementias, fantasies of being in command, delusions of callings to poetry, and such like, to coffee, to food. She calls attention to the fact that we both need dentistry, how I go out by day and she in the dark of night, how I rave to heaven when we're home, 
and presume my excellence when we both know I suffer whiteouts. But for the garden, each day we seem more remote, alone together, oxygen and lunch, lunch by touch, starved. She's a pesky sort, Miss Voodoo, counts on me to open and close doors, spread feasts and clean up after, shop and take out the trash. Companions for years now, we can see what's coming and seek avoidance and accommodation. At night we play, spin the top, I spin, she stops them. She plays toss and catch with toy mice, honing her skills regularly. She seeks abandon with fresh catnip, mad about hide and seek. She finally allows me to find her slight self. She hates when I cry. I just noticed the typo in this document, too. <laughs> I know, I proved it. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, David. Thanks. 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 Thanks.